Hey friends, today we are hanging out in London. This is my first time visiting here and I kind of want to get lost in the city. I want to go around and explore and use some of the public transportation and see if I can navigate my way around to some of the awesome like touristy and historical sites without knowing where I'm going. I want to use the tube, I want to use the cable cars, maybe even the double-decker buses and just explore and have a beautiful London country of day any who's let's go do this we're gonna start our day off right here at Excel London because this is where Star Wars celebration is taking place and they have the IFC cloud cable cars here cable cars gondola Skyliner whatever you want to call them but they look so cool and I kind of want to see where they're gonna take me it is 61 degrees today in London, and I'm wearing a sweater and pants. Isn't that shocking? I know usually I just wear shorts because I'm from Florida, but this is the perfect weather. I actually thrive in this weather, and I'm having the best morning so far. It looks like there's quite a long line for the cable car itself. So I wonder if they actually sell like a lightning lane, some way I can skip the line. And look how high up this goes. It must take us like into the city because that is a far distance away. That's not no Disney Skyliner there. I am so excited to share my experiences with you. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to use the tube or even how to get on the buses or anything like that. And I just kind of want to wing it and hopefully, you know, things go good. Like hopefully I don't get too lost. I'm traveling by myself, so it's just me today. And I just want to kind of float in whatever general direction I think is interesting and find out what happens. I decided on going with the VIP like uh, fast track so they do have like a lightning lane and it's 30 pound over here they actually show you it's uh, yeah a 360 round trip priority fast track right on and uh, yeah we'll be able to skip the line I just want to be able to hop on it and be able to go up and take a look at all the beautiful views it's kind of funny because I have no idea where this takes me. I, I, I did no research. I'm just hopping on and it's taking me over there. And maybe we'll find something cool to do once we get off. And if not, at least I have uh, the opportunity to hop back on and just come back right here. So we'll just see where the gondola takes us. <laughs> I do also want to point out that there is two lines because you have to get one line to actually buy your ticket and then you have to hop in another line to actually board and uh, it's definitely for me I think it's definitely worth it to pay the extra I mean it's like what an extra $18 to skip this these like look at that's a long line I don't know how long this would take but I think it's worth it I mean <laughs> I'm walking right on in now. I love doing stuff like this, like going somewhere you don't even know where you're going. You're just hopping on some form of transportation and just going with the flow. All right, here we go. Oh, look, they got soft seats in here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Got the whole place to myself. This is going to be nice. Oh boy, we're taking off. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. I love how once you get out of here, it gets so quiet. I'm luckily I'm by myself, but it's very quiet in here. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. What a beautiful view, huh? Look at this. Holy moly. This is incredible. This is such a beautiful view and it's only six pounds. So that's, that's so worth it. Honestly, just for a quick trip, I would do this again. I do wish we can actually go out on a boat. There's a lot of boats down there. The water looks very brown, very brown water. Looks like we're going to start making our descent. Holy moly, look how far we're going down. Look at this angle. It's kind of scary. Yeah, we're coming in. And also look at the line to get back on there. So I'm glad we did get that uh, fast track or lightning lane. Well, I'm glad we got the fast track lightning lane. Here we go. Coming in. Coming in hot. Little bumpy. Little bumpy. That was fantastic. Now I have to ask somebody where we're at. 
Where, where are we? <laughs> Looks like we're in North Greenwich. <laughs> Look at that. I asked if there was anything cool to do around here and they said to go to the O2 Arena. And uh, it's like a concert venue. It looks really cool. That's that big dome looking thing we saw when we were crossing the water. I was wondering what that was. But uh, yeah, we're in North Greenwich. That's where the cable car took me. Looking at it from this angle, it is really intimidating. Look at that. That is, I can't believe we just, and we're gonna go back that way. Oh, they're stopping too, I can see them. Well, it looks like I made a big mistake because uh, it is Easter Sunday. I didn't even realize it because of the, the time change and the jet lag and just kind of forgot my dates and mostly everything's closed over here at the O2. So I think I'm gonna continue and uh, do some more transportation and take the tube, take the tube to just somewhere random, I guess. See where the tube's gonna take me. Well, right there is the O2. Now I have to try to find the underground. I think it might be over here. I love doing this with you guys. You are really seeing firsthand just somebody getting lost in London. Getting, lo <laughs> getting lost in London. I feel like I'm back in New York, lost in New York. It's funny, I'm calling it a tube, like I've ridden it before, but I've never been on this. And it's basically an underground railroad, and uh, I don't even know how to pay. So we're just gonna go mandor around and figure it out. I'm guessing it's down that way, but I don't know if I get a ticket here or once I get down there. You would think I did a lot of preparation to actually make my first trip over uh, to London, but I really didn't. You know, everything kind of just works on its own already. I told my bank that I was coming over here. All of my apps like Uber, like I didn't have to do anything special. Uber just still works fine. I've been Ubering all over the place. I even used Uber Eats in London to my hotel room. Uh, my debit card, I just used that to pay for everything. And I guess the banks just make the conversion my cell phone the second i made a phone call here they just transferred over to travel like international so like it just all every, i mean we're so technical like uh, technology advanced that everything just does it for you and it's kind of crazy like uh, i thought like this would be a big ordeal like european national lampoons european vacation but it's really not it's just kind of self-sufficient and i like that we're living in a whole new world a whole new world there we go, tickets right there. I have to hold the camera up really high because there's some lighting that actually makes the screen shake. But when I came in, I just tapped my card at like the turnstile, like my regular debit card, and it just let me in and it gave me like a daily like max that they'll do. And I think I saw a sign for Central London. So we're heading to Central London. Central London, westbound platforms one and two. I think we're going right down this way. This is such an adventure. I'm having the best time ever. And I hope this is encouraging to anyone that wants to come to London and uh, like afraid that they might get lost or anything like that. You can see I'm kind of just going with the flow and navigating around and it's actually really easy. Everybody's super friendly, super nice and very suggestive of cool things to do. We're going on the Jubilee Line, Platform 2. And I don't know, these are all the places we can stop. Oh, maybe London Bridge? Maybe we'll stop at London Bridge, that sounds nice. Nice, or Waterloo. All these places. Huh, this is turning out to be really awesome. almost missed my exit I was standing right by that door there and then all of a sudden I looked out and I saw London Bridge and I was like uh oh so I hopped off and here we are we made it made it to the London Bridge I don't know where else I'm going I think I can say I'm a big fan of the tube now this was actually really awesome and I think I'm gonna be using this mode of transportation a little bit more this was this was actually very easy to actually map out like 
I never looked at a map. I never did anything. I just was like, oh, there we go. I want to go there. And I just went. This was so easy. It's kind of funny because now we've done the uh, cable car. We've done the tube and hopefully we can do like one of the double decker buses. Now I can do the public transportation ones, but I want to do the ones that are open and you can just like sit up top and be out in the fresh air. So we're going to see if we can do that as well. Kind of knocking out all the amazing transportation. Oh look, pretty woman, pretty woman walking down the street. Now that I've gotten to where I want to be, I just scanned my card again, just like that. And I paid. I'm done. Isn't that so easy peasy? To the left, we got London Bridge City Pier. And then to the right, we've got the Shard. I kind of want to do them both, so I don't know which way I should start. I guess maybe to the pier. To the pier. Okay, so now that we're here, I want to find that pier so I can just, I just want to look at the London Bridge, you know? I just want to, I just want to stare at it, see it, maybe take a photo. There we go, we have made it. Uh, right over there is Tower Bridge, you can see it. And I kind of think I walked this path the other day, right down here. I'm pretty sure I was walking along here as we uh, explored our first day. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Just walking across London Bridge. I think. <laughs> you really can't deny how beautiful this view is though. Isn't it crazy? Wow, I kind of, I just want to stay up here all day. Oh, and I definitely want to try to use Uber boat. I want to, I want to Uber me a boat. Oh my Lord. I almost got attacked by a bird. As you can see, this is one site with many bridges. We are right here on the London Bridge itself. The Tower Bridge is yonder over that way and they have a nice little informational display here also let you know some of uh maybe some of the things that are actually in the water <laughs> seahorses is this real european eel well, that's kind of cool i like all of this stuff a brown trout that's really awesome oh london bridge is falling down falling down actually let you know what that actually means this is this is a great this is i like this a lot Oh look, this might be my time to hop on one of these cool uh, buses here. Oh boy, I see them all stopped here. You think we should do it? Let's do it. I don't even know where it's gonna take me, but we're going for it. Looks like I'm gonna be hopping on the tot, toot tot? What is it, tot, toot? We're gonna hop on the toot bus, the best of London. And it was 34 pounds and uh, I get 24 hour access and I get to go to all the good spots. So I think I wanna take it over to the palace. I wanna go over by like St. James Park and kind of just like navigate around there. 34 pound, that's not too bad. On top of that, I get headphones that I can listen to that gives me a little history of everything as I'm going around. Look, like, like I said, this is no planning. Like this, I just literally walked upon this and I was like, hey you, let's go for a bus ride. And I love that. Oh, and here's our bus. We're heading in. I want to go outside though. I want to be on the top, tippity top. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Have a great one. Oh, we're gonna take a map. Headphones, there we go. Excellent. And uh, we're going all the way up. Oh, look at these little tiny steps. <laughs> oh boy. Are you guys coming down? <laughs> and away we go. Place looks really cool shipwrights arms right there and I think uh, I think we're stop seven we're gonna be looking for I gotta pull out the map I think we're going over Tower Bridge now oh yeah that's where we're going
London boy on a London bus. <laughs> Plug these bad boys in. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, the earbuds touch the floor. Yeah. Oh, I can see the London Eye and also Big Ben and Parliament over there. And also look at this English tea bush right next to us. Look how close we are, I can touch it. <laughs> this is such a fun thing. I could spend hours just driving on this bus. I hope it's not too windy for you, but I'm loving this. Looks like we're coming right up on Big Ben. Ooh, it just struck. This is our stop, I think, but we can get on and off as much as we want. We paid for the on and off pass. So uh, yeah, time to explore a little bit around here. Maybe uh, head on over to the palace. It's really amazing how we made our way all the way down here, but it's time to make our way uh, over to the other side. A lot of the area we weren't able to visit on our first trip over. That was a real fun bus ride. And now that we've made our way over here, I'm kind of a little hungry. So I think we're gonna take a pit stop and maybe have a Sunday roast. A Sunday roast is a traditional British like meal and they only serve it on Sunday. So I'm kind of excited. And this is the first spot that I saw that I was just like, oh yeah, I gotta get myself a little Sunday roast. My first one and I like it. It doesn't have like a name on the building. It just says public bar but I'm here for it. Look at this. Fancy glasses and woodwork. Nice little pub. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna do good. It's 18 pounds for the Sunday roast, but I need to eat something before I make my way over to uh, Buckingham Palace. You know what I mean? I need to have a something, and I think they stopped serving it. Some, most people, I think, I've seen signs where it said 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., and it's actually Easter Sunday, so it's gonna be an Easter Sunday roast. And I like that, my first Easter Sunday roast. This is really, this is really turning into something. This place is called St. Stephen's Tavern and they actually have their own St. Stephen's Lager so I decided to get that along with the Sunday Roast and kind of just chilling out, relaxing for a bit. Look at it in here, it's, it's actually really nice. I like all the wood and the wallpaper and the pictures too. It's very fancy. Cheers. <laughs> All right, here is the Sunday roast, and this looks actually really, really good. Carrots, broccoli, oh wow, potatoes, and look at that beef. Look at that steak. I cannot wait to dive into this. Holy moly. This is going to be good. I'm very excited. It's my first ever Sunday roast. Oh. I'm going all in on carrots first. I love carrots. Carrots are so delicious. Those are really good carrots. Now a little broccoli. Did you see that? Huh. Now it's time to get down to the beef. The beef in business. My first Sunday roast was a success. I loved it, very delicious, and I hope to have many more. Many more Sunday roasts. This was so good. I honestly, I really love it. I love the veggies mostly. I don't know, there was just something about them that I was just like, this is just too good. I think my favorite part of the Sunday roast has to be probably the potatoes and the carrots. I just love it, and the gravy over here. It's so good. Look at these potatoes. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. That was a delicious roast. That was very, very good. The only thing is, is it was so crowded in there. Like, I basically felt like I was sitting on someone's lap eating some roast beef. <laughs> so it was a little awkward to film, but uh, yeah, it was great. I feel a little bit better. Had lots of veggies. Now it's time to move on. I just realized I got off at the wrong stop. This is not where I wanted to be. I thought like <laughs> I thought I was like kind of near where I needed to go, but this is nowhere near I needed to go. And now I have to figure out how to get there. Hey. 
Oh wow, look at it. It's very, very, very busy over here. I might have I might hop back on the underground. I really like that, so we might do that here at Westminster Station. It seems a little familiar, like this is where I was the other day, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna keep walking straight and see where I end up though. I think I'm just gonna just do a straight line. Straight line from Big Ben, straight back, and I think that might lead me right to, right, right to, right to where I wanna go. This definitely looks like a road that will lead me to somewhere cool. Look at the buildings here. And then we've got like this big park and I see tons of people over here. This is really nice. Wow, this might be my favorite part of London right here. I love it. And there's actually a little map over here so we can figure out where we're at. Oh yeah, St. James Park, yeah. We'll have to take a look at it and see uh, what's going on over here. I do believe this is exactly where we want to be. Right here, that's me, you are here, and we want to make our way to Buckingham Palace right here. Look at it. This is it. So we just got to go down this road and then bada bing. Uh, the other day I walked this way and then we went that way and we made our way to Piccadilly Circus. Now we're going to go that way. It's a nice night for a walk, so might as well go through the park. I think that's going to be a little bit nicer. If we're right here, then we can cut over and go across Blue Bridge and make our way over to the uh, Buckingham Palace there. Yeah, just like this. Easy peasy. Ah, see? I knew it. I knew we were... Oh, wow, look how beautiful this is. Okay, all right. I like this. Maybe I should take a picture of that map. I'm gonna go back and take a picture of that map. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Nice little photo. Snap a photo, bada boom. Now I can zoom in on it later. I just wanna let you guys know that today is being such a fun, adventurous day for me. I'm not stressed out at all. I just kinda just walking around looking at things and really enjoying and soaking in everything around me and it's just so cool so if you ever have the chance just to have a solo day just to go wander around you should really do it we've come up to a sign that uh, lets us know that the horse guards parade is seven minutes that way and then if we go straight we should be able to make it to buckingham palace in seven minutes so I think we're gonna we're gonna go straight, go straight. But I do want to cross the bridge. Look at this. It's a nice bridge. I wonder if we can still get to Buckingham Palace by crossing the bridge here. Wow! Oh my lord! Look at that. There she is. I'm taking the bridge. I'm going across the bridge and then to the left. Oh, I do have a. I, I took a photo of the map. That's why I took a photo so I can make sure I'm going the right way. I think I have to turn back because something tells me I'm not going to make it that way or it's going to be a longer route. Yeah, I think I have to turn back. But there is a lot of people over here feeding ducks, feeding some ducks and geese and pigeons. Wow, what a combination. Holy moly. We've got ducks. We've got geese. We've got pigeons. We've got squirrels. This guy's scaring me. He's standing up on me. Oh. Oh. This, this is definitely my favorite part. I love it here. It, it's so beautiful. Wow, I want to live here. I really want to live here now. I want to move here and just stay. This is, this is, I thought, wow. Just look at these pigeons chasing each other. Look at them. I'm coming after you. Don't be suspicious. 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 Well, this is convenient. They've got a little coffee stand right in the middle of the park, right before you make it up to the palace there. This is really awesome. I can get myself some coffee or uh, Americano. They have dog treats too. Oh my Lord. We got to get Gracie some dog treats. Dog treats. She's going to love these. Not going to lie. 
Really catching a vibe right here. That's hot. This is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm seeing this with my own eyes. And don't forget, they're getting ready for the coronation. Wow. I'm almost, <laughs> I'm a little emotional right now, actually. But I can't, we're, we're here. We did it. Look at this. Wow. I can't. <laughs> This honestly might be the most historical place I've ever visited. Like, feeling wise, like I, I have goosebumps. It's something I've always dreamed of. And it took me nearly 40 years to come here. I can't even believe it. And I'm here now. The reason I'm so like passionate about these things is because I've really never traveled, you know? I didn't leave the state of Pennsylvania until I was in my 20s and when I did I went to Florida and now it's the first time I've ever left the country like I never went out west the first time I out, like went out west was just like maybe six years ago so this is a huge huge accomplishment for me and it's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> looks like there's a sign that says no guard changing ceremony today but the guards are still out there you can see them oh and some of them are walking There are so many people lined up on the fence. Ooh, and they're yelling at people, telling them to get down. Somebody's climbing up there. Oh, look at, oh boy. Catching the drama happening here. We've got the guards on duty, and then we've got the Royal Mail. The Royal Mail. We're gonna keep moving along from the palace itself and right around the corner on Palace Street is the Phoenix, a little pub. And I kinda wanna make my way there and maybe get a pint. I literally just typed in pub near me and this is the first one that popped up. So uh, it looks kinda good. I'm a little excited. Yeah, I'm all about it. So they do have like an outdoor bar area, but it looks like it's raining a little bit and they also have like an upstairs dining room and it looks very fancy so I decided to stay here for a bit and just kind of relax. This is also the first time I think I've ever seen like bar stools at the bar. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, well, obviously, yeah. yeah. The bar, yeah. You don't have bars with the bar. You don't sit at the bar. It's just you walk up and order and leave. Yeah. Yep. Most pubs so far. Yeah. And DTH has joined up on the adventure. Look at that. We have swivelly chairs. We do. So we can... We I like this. Have a little ride. Oh, yes. I came in here with the idea of getting a pint, but I think we're gonna get ourselves like a special espresso martini, a banana espresso martini, and uh, a good pick me upper. I need a pick me upper. Cheers. That's delightful. It's delightful. It's delightful. It's delightful. We decided on getting some small plates. We've got a little apple sausage roll, some scallops, and then a scotch egg. I've never had a scotch egg before, and I don't think I'm willing to try one now. Oh, and truffle fries. I mean, it all looks really good though. The sausage roll, I'm kind of excited. I don't think I've had a, a proper sausage roll since I've been over here. 
Look at that. That's a big, that's a lot of meat. That's a lot of sausage in there, isn't it? Time to try some sausage roll now. That's amazing. Mm. The sausage roll is really good. I like it a lot. And I might be willing to actually try a Scottish egg. My first time. So maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Why not? You gotta take it and go to the dome. Really? Okay, here we go. My first time. My first time. Here we go. My first time. Mm. Yeah, right? I like it. I like it. It honestly tastes just like the sausage roll, but with crispy breading instead of flaky breading. This has buttery, baked in a buttery bakey crust. And this one is fried in a, a, freak, a, a flaky friedy crust. I'm always, yeah, I'm always excited to try new things. So it was really nice to experience a Scottish shake. And uh, now I can say I've had one and I liked it. I really did love this little pub. Look at it in here. I don't know why. It doesn't look old. It actually looks like it's old, but upkept. You know what I mean? Like they, they actually took care of it. Well, I have to say today was a pleasant adventure. And now I'm going to carry this over into a new adventure and bring you guys along with me because our time here in London is over. But we are going to be making our way to Paris. I am so excited. We are going to take a train to Paris from London and I figured I would bring you along. This has been an epic day of transportation and uh, we're going to keep it going to Paris. If you guys have been on this journey for a while, you know my suitcase started out at 16.5 pounds. Now it's 50. I can't even move it. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> We have made it to St. Pancras Station. We're taking the Eurostar in. And oh, this is King Cross. We gotta get rocking and rolling. We're going. Take me to Paris. <laughs> Take me to Paris. Gotta scan our boarding pass here. Done. Now that we got through security, we have to go through passport control. This is such an adventure. Wow, we really cut that close. It's 1933 and Paris comes at 2001. <laughs> Look at that. Lots of people in here too. This really is such an experience for me. I'm having the time of my life. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Ooh, look at this. It's like we're moving people here. <laughs> oh boy. Don't let them slide. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm riding. <laughs> Can you imagine we all just went tumbling down? Oh, that'd be great. This is too heavy. Holy moly. I'm literally doing like yeah. a, a strongman stance with my bag here. <laughs> oh boy, there it is, the Eurostar. Whoop. 15. I have no idea what to expect on this Eurostar. I know that we're in coach and that's about it. So I don't know what we're gonna do with our bags. I know we're at 15, but I don't, know, I don't know what we're going to do with all this stuff. We got a lot of stuff. You got to put your bag on your lap. Oh all, boy, if I'm carrying all, all this, I'm in trouble. All max, all 80 pounds in both these bags. <laughs> There's a body, I think, in this red one. Also, check DTH with the, the beers, bringing the beers on the train. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm coming. I need both hands. Okay, I got you. Oh. You did it! Jesus, it's heavy! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I might have to go right here, actually. I'm going to be this right here. This is really fancy. This seriously is so cool. I'm like kind of geeking out on the inside. You can call me World Traveler Nate. 
paging Mr. World Traveler. Size item should be placed above your seat. Please make sure that your luggage has above the corridors or the ways. Thank you. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir et bienvenue à bord de cette Eurostar, destination de Paris. Merci de placer vos bagages volumineux munis d'étiquettes dans les portes aux bagages aux entrées des voitures. Vos bagages de mode doivent être rangés au-dessus de votre siège. I don't know what he just said. I don't know. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. <laughs> Look at this. I feel like I'm on the real Hogwarts Express. <laughs> I've never rode a train like this before. Never? Never. Never been on a speed train. Never been on a speed train. It's just a speed train. Yeah. yeah. What's the difference? Bank, right? I think it's like a fast train. Oh. I don't know. Baby got a fast car. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome on board this Super Star to Paris Gardino where we expect to arrive at 2314 17 uh, local time. I am again Lionel uh, and I are your travel managers. We got ourselves some orange juice, some classic snacks, chili and lime nut mix. You know, do some work, edit some videos. Thank Ooh. Thank you. And some champagne. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks like we have some starters coming out, and I'm not even too sure what this is. It looks very interesting. It looks very good. This one does. The I'm not souffle. too sure. Yeah, the souffle does. Not too sure. I mean, I'm, that's cheese. cheese. You can have that if you want from mine. Absolutely. You yeah. Eat. And I'm pretty sure you can have this too because I'm. I think that's it's cheese. Artichoke. Oh, it's artichoke. But I do want some coffee and a roll. The souffle was amazing, and it came with like a little cinnamon sauce on it. I didn't know it was a cinnamon sauce, so I was too afraid to try it. But then DTH tried it, and he's like, "Oh, it's cinnamon," and I was like, "Dang, I already ate it all." But then I, you know, tasted it, and I was like, "Oh wow, that would have been good." But now the main courses are here. Which is good. We had a choice between chicken or fish or salad. Uh, so we got the salad and I got the chicken, but the chicken's cold, but it looks, uh, I don't know. Looks uh, like I'm a little uh, intimidated by a... Don't be scared. I'm a little scared. I guess I'll try this piece right here. Cold chicken. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Well, I guess we can say now we know. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just not something I pleasantly enjoy. But I can't wait for coffee. And we have made it to Paris. Look at that. We did it. We did it. We did it. Two countries, one week. First impressions of Paris. It is beautiful. Look at this. This must be the train station right here that we just came out of. And it's amazing. But I do have a little wondering why there's just immediately a Burger King, Popeyes, McDonald's, and Subway as soon as we get here. You can see them all lined up right here. We have made it to Paris. Look at that. The train ride was amazing. I would take the Eurostar all over the place. You can go to Amsterdam, Brussels. It was really, really cool. And I'm so shocked at how easy it was to get from here, well, to get from London to Paris. And now I think we're done here for the night. Like, I think we're all done here. I mean, I had an amazing time in London and uh, we're gonna pick it up with uh, uh, doing fun stuff in Paris. And of course, when in Paris, Disneyland Paris. I mean, that's what we're doing. So I'm very excited and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.